In today's video, let's see the regulation for means of escape. The information in this video is sourced from Solus, Chapter 2-2 under Regulation 13 Means of Escape. This regulation is applicable for all ships from 1st of January 2020. The following subjects are covered in this regulation, purpose, general requirements, means of escape from control stations, accommodation and service spaces, means of escape from machinery spaces, means of escape on passenger ships from special category open rural spaces, means of escape from rural spaces, additional requirements for rural passenger ships. First, purpose. The purpose of this regulation is to provide means of escape so that persons on board can safely and swiftly escape to the lifeboat and life raft embarkation deck. Second, general requirements. Unless expressly provided otherwise in this regulation, at least two widely separated and ready means of escape shall be provided from all spaces or group of spaces. Lifts shall not be considered as forming one of the means of escape as required by this regulation. Third, means of escape from control stations, accommodation and service spaces. Stairways and ladders shall be so arranged as to provide ready means of escape to the lifeboat and life raft embarkation deck from passenger and crew accommodation spaces. Dead end corridors used in service areas which are necessary for the practical utility of the ship shall be permitted. The width, number and continuity of escape routes shall be in accordance with the requirements in the Fire Safety Systems Code. The administration may dispense with one of the means of escape for crew spaces that are entered only occasionally, if the required escape route is independent of watertight doors. Means of escape from machinery spaces for passenger ships MMEs of escape from each machinery space in passenger ships shall comply with the following provisions. Means of escape below the bulkhead deck include either one steel ladder or two sets of steel ladders, or access to a door leading to the upper part of the space. Administration may dispense with one means of escape from any such space in a ship of 1,000 gross tonnage and above. Inclined ladders slash stairways fitted with open treads in machinery spaces being part of or providing access to escape routes but not located within a protected enclosure. Means of escape from machinery spaces, cargo ships, two sets of steel ladders as widely separated as possible leading to doors in the upper part of the space. In a ship of less than 1,000 gross tonnage, the administration may dispense with one of the means of escape required under paragraph 4.2. For machinery spaces other than those of category A, two escape routes shall be provided. Inclined ladders or stairways fitted to comply with paragraph 4.2.1 with open treads in machinery spaces being part of or providing access to escape routes but not located within protected enclosure. Means of escape for machinery spaces, emergency escape breathing devices, on all ships, within the machinery spaces, emergency escape breathing devices shall be situated ready for use at easily visible places, which can be reached quickly and easily in the event of a fire. The location of these breathing apparatus shall take into account the layout of machinery space and the number of persons normally working in the spaces. 5. Means of escape on passenger ships from special category open rural spaces to which any passengers carry can have access. In special category and open rural spaces, the number and locations of the means of escape both below and above the bulkhead deck shall be to the satisfaction of the administration. The safety of access to the embarkation deck must be at least equivalent to that provided for under paragraph 3.2.1. One of the escape routes from the machinery spaces where the crew is normally employed shall avoid direct access to any special category space. Means of escape from rural spaces, at least two means of escape shall be provided in rural spaces where the crew are normally employed. The escape route shall provide a safe escape to the lifeboat and life raft embarkation decks and shall be located at the fore and aft ends of the space. Additional requirements for rural passenger ships, general. Escape routes shall be provided for every normally occupied space on the ship to an assembly station. The escape route from cabins to stairway enclosures shall be as direct as possible, with a minimum number of changes in direction. Escape routes shall not be obstructed by furniture and other obstructions. Additional requirements for rural passenger ships, instruction for safe escape. Deck shall be sequentially numbered, starting with one at the tank top or lowest deck. Additional requirements for rural passenger ships, instruction for safe escape. The numbers shall be prominently displayed at stair landings and lift lobbies. 
Simple mimic plans showing the you are here position and escape routes marked by arrows. Strength of handrails and corridors. Handrails or other handholds shall be provided in corridors along the entire escape route so that a firm handhold is available at every step of the way, where possible. Particular attention shall be paid to the need to be able to cross lobbies, atriums and other large open spaces along escape routes.